the new Toyota BZ3 electric car. It's 186 inches long, that's 4,725 millimeters. Wheelbase, 113.4 inches, that's 2,880 millimeters. Its width is 72.24 inches, that's 1,835 millimeters. And its height is 58 inches, or 1,475 millimeters. In fact, it's almost the same exact size as the BYD Seal. Toyota has just revealed their new BZ3 electric Corolla. And I've got to say, the marketing spiel you've all heard, it's, yeah, it's wrong. Toyota wants you to believe something. It's telling you a story, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Here are the facts about the new BYD BZ3 electric sedan. Oh, I mean, sorry, I mean Toyota. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. And my name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. So the BZ3 electric sedan, Toyota made apparently, says Toyota. Toyota's e Tinga TNGA platform, says Toyota. Is all of that true? Well, Toyota is trying to make you believe, right? That the only part of this car that is made by BYD is the battery pack. That is patently false. In fact, the Aussie media here, they're all telling us, yeah, 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 this is a, this is a Toyota. It's a, we're so excited. Look at the new electric car Toyota has made. Isn't it great? Yeah. And they want you to believe, right, that Toyota has manufactured this car, is making this car. The truth is Toyota had had very little to do with manufacturing or developing or designing or building this car. Anyhow. Let's get to that first. Let's look at the specs first, and then let's look at the claimed price of this car, which are also completely false. The media is giving you this idea, right? The Toyota is, they've come out with this car, right? And it's amazing. It's actually pretty good. But the price, it's spectacular. In fact, the price means this car has more range than any other car in China for that price. Yeah, you can see that price is also a lie. Anyhow, BZ3 sedan, it's been revealed. And well, my first thoughts, well, were, yeah, it looks like what we've seen here. This was revealed, what, I revealed this on the channel two months ago. I showed you guys a video of this car in the real world, not the marketing photos we're seeing here, which have been, you know, edited to look at a certain way. But I showed you guys some real photos of this car in the real world when they were taken. And frankly, I was disappointed. The reason I was disappointed was because the concept vehicles we saw originally, which they did make, looked sensational. I mean, you guys, you probably saw them, the concept car of this, and I didn't think it was a concept. It looked like the real thing. It looked like this was gonna be the new Corolla. It looked awesome. And I was like thinking, this is probably the best looking Corolla ever made. No, not probably. Probably the best looking Toyota ever made. And then they made the real thing and it looked nothing like the concept. I hate it when manufacturers do that. The Japanese auto companies do that all the time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You guys saw the photos. We saw this. We pretty much knew at the time BYD had a huge part in that project because they said they did, and so did Toyota. They said it was a joint development between BYD and Toyota. Now, Toyota is backtracking on that. They're now trying to say, no, 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 it wasn't a joint development. Um, we're just using BYD blade battery. That's it. I mean, and this is a special blade battery. It's a special blade battery just for Toyota cars, which will give you an amazing 10 years of life with only 10% battery degradation. Now, just for you guys out there, this is not some special Toyota BYD blade battery. It is the same blade battery going in every other car that BYD make. So if you want this battery, you can get it by buying a BYD. You don't have to buy a Toyota Corolla. That's just yet again more Toyota marketing spiel. And to be honest, I'd probably call that more Toyota lies. I mean, recently Toyota have been in court for lying. They've been lying now for 10 years about the emissions of their vehicles. This is the new diesel gate. No one cares, no one wants to know about it because they're sick of hearing about it. But Toyota has been lying about the emissions figures of its vehicles by tricking. It uses tricking sensors in its trucks to, uh, well, trick the testers into believing that they don't emit the emissions that they do. Now, is the BZ3 a good car? I think it is actually. It's pretty nice looking on the inside. It's got a BYD blade battery and guess what? It's got BYD motors. Now, all the press releases that have come out have said, Oh, the only thing in this car that is a BYD part is the battery. Well, that's not true. The motors are made by Foodie Industries. Who owns Foodie Industries? 
BYD own Foodie Industries, so yes, they're not Toyota Motors, they're manufactured by BYD, as is much of the car. Now, Toyota Talk to wraps off the BZ3. It's a very similar size to two other cars, Tesla Model 3 and the new BYD Seal. In fact, it's very, very similar in size to the BYD Seal. I think it is the BYD Seal with a different body, but hey, I could be wrong. Now, the BZ3 will only be made in China for Chinese citizens. Toyota has no plans to release this car outside of China. So sorry to everyone. Sorry if you hope this car could come to your country. They're not planning on selling it anywhere outside of China. Fortunately, there are some people reporting a little bit more accurately. For example, Auto Week said, this is a collaboration between the Japanese automaker, China's BYD, and the Toyota FAW joint venture. All the Aussie media have tried to frame it as a completely Toyota vehicle, but fortunately there are some journalists out there that are trying to stay honest and haven't been bought off by Toyota. Now, Toyota likens the distinctive new look to a hammerhead shark, but despite a plethora of sharp creases, the sedan actually is said to achieve an aerodynamic coefficient of 0.218. Considering the shape of its nose, that's a remarkable feat. We don't know if it does achieve that. Who knows? It's possible. Now, one thing that isn't possible is the price based on the battery pack. One thing that's more than likely impossible is the range that Toyota are claiming this vehicle does. I'll tell you why in a second. Because BYD have range figures out for the same car, the same size car, and it's totally different using the same battery pack. So considering it's basically a BOD uh, motors, BOD battery, and somehow Toyota's claims that the vehicle can do way more range than the equivalent BYD vehicle, I've got to say, I'm fairly doubtful of those claims. Now, the BZ3 uses the BYD Blade lithium-ion battery pack, and they promise a CLTC range of 600 kilometers, which is 372 miles on full charge. However, the BYD Seal, using the same exact battery pack, has 550 kilometers of range. So Toyota are saying magically, they're able to get an extra 50 kilometers of range out of the same pack in the same size car using the same motors. Yeah, if you believe that story, well, hey, I don't know. You're probably a Toyota brand fan, more than likely. Now, just like the BZ4X, the sedan is based on Toyota's ETNGA platform, they claim. Now, there's no way to verify that. I think more than likely it's actually a BOD skateboard. But who knows, I could be wrong. Now, this promises a longer wheelbase and gives the interior occupants more room, they say, along with a lower center of gravity. That may be true, but the BYD Seal has, well, actually a longer wheelbase in basically the same size car. So it's gonna have inter similar interior space. So, hey guys, if you're in Australia, if you're in Europe, if you're in New Zealand, if you're in many countries around the world where the BYD Seal is gonna be sold, and yeah, you probably are if you're not in the US or Canada, unfortunately, you guys aren't gonna get it you'll have access to buying a BYD Seal with the same size car, same the same wheelbase. And well, the fact that, and well, I think buying the BYD would actually be the better decision considering you're not supporting a company that lobbies against EVs. Now the interior looks nothing like any other vehicle that Toyota currently make, nothing, as in the screen, the dash, the steering wheel, the seats. None of them are actually, I can't find those particular parts in any other Toyota vehicle, which is kind of curious. It does look a little bit like a BYD inside though, but hey, you never know. Maybe it's all made by Toyota, right? Now you may have noticed that that odd looking steering wheel isn't round, but it's halfway on its way to being hexagonal. It's got a flat bottom and a flat top. Now Toyota claims the reason they use that steering wheel is because they've done extensive research into Chinese roads and that this reduces blind spots. Who knows, maybe it does. Now, finally, we get to the actual features. The size of the battery pack. Well, Toyota haven't released it, but BYD make the seal, right? And they have two different size battery packs for the seal. The smaller pack is a 61.4 kilowatt hour pack, and that provides 550 kilometers of range. That's 342 miles of range. I think BYD are giving you a CLTC figure there. They say it's a CLTC figure. Real world range, you're probably gonna get 500 kilometers from this side of this size of car, right? With that size BYD battery pack in it. There is a bigger pack. It's an 82.5 kilowatt hour pack. That one 
BYD say will give you 700 kilometers or 435 miles of CLTC range. So clearly that's not the battery pack in this vehicle, right? That's clearly the smaller pack that Toyota are using where they're claiming the vehicle will give you 10% more range than the CL. I wonder how BYD feel about them making those claims. It'd be interesting to see what they think, especially considering they're using the exact same motors in the BYD CL, exactly the same, identical power and torque figures. So what is the price? Well, here's where things start to get interesting. More marketing spin from Toyota. The base model BYD CL, the cheapest model you can get right now, costs 29,000 US dollars. That's the cheapest model you can get. Toyota are obviously saying, well, someone is saying, Toyota's marketing people are saying, the base model Corolla will cost 25,000 US dollars. So the Toyota EV will be 4,000 US dollars cheaper than the same car from BYD. Isn't that true? Well, okay, maybe it's possible, I guess, that you know Toyota is basically paying for BYD's parts in this car and then selling it cheaper than BYD by a long way but it seems unlikely. So we've got some pretty unlikely information coming out here. The price, which seems honestly fantastical. The range, which seems to be exaggerating. It's clearly exaggerating the numbers from BYD. CLTC numbers are already exaggerated, and then they're exaggerating on top of that. I don't like these tactics. I think it'd be better just to be honest. Realistically, this is just marketing information. I mean, us in the West, we're never gonna get this car. So it's really not that relevant to us. So Toyota can just say whatever they want. And if we believe it, then it looks like the company's doing magical, amazing things. They can say they made the whole car and BYD just gave them the battery and that was it. And then it looks like Toyota is producing amazing EVs. Are they really? No. It's a joint venture, 50-50 partnership between Toyota and BYD. BYD are certainly not just providing the battery pack. They're providing the battery pack, the motors, and who knows how much else this car could be everything. We don't know because Toyota doesn't want us to know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Am I being too cynical here on Toyota? Yeah, if Toyota were being more upfront and honest, I would probably be a lot less cynical, but they're not. Clearly, they're trying to disguise this as a Toyota and change the facts, which I don't really like. Hey guys, update to this story. After I'd already filmed this video, new information was released in China on the battery pack sizes. There'll be two battery pack sizes, and those are 49.92 kilo, so 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 65.3 kilowatt hour pack. So the story is still false, right? Everyone's saying it's gonna be 25,000 US dollars for a 600 kilometer range, new Corolla electric Toyota, it won't be. That 50 kilowatt hour pack will be the potentially $25,000 model. That is possible because that's a much smaller battery pack than what's in the BYD seal, the base model seal. So the base model seal has the bigger battery pack, which is the 65 kilowatt hour pack, which will go in the higher spec and more expensive Corolla, which obviously won't cost 25,000, probably closer to around 35,000 US dollars. But there's the full story. So you guys have all the information on this car, 50 kilowatt hour pack for that $25,000 model. And obviously the bigger pack, which goes in the base model seal, the 65 kilowatt hour pack, that will be a more expensive vehicle.